I, I know last year a whole bunch of people are in the portal. Now you guys didn't really have any movement. Yeah. How, how, is that better for y'all going into the new season, especially Definitely. with high expectations? Definitely. Even uh, just all of us staying here and, and all of the new additions that we got, freshmen and transfers, I think it just shows how much we're for you and shows how much like people want to be a part of this this organization because you know it's it's not it's not all uh, pictures and, and social media. It's like this is us, you know what I'm saying? So I think that's what we all stay for because we, we actually love it here and we love each other. So after. So three million tackles last year. <laughs> at, at what point did you start feeling normal again during the offseason? Uh, I probably say before we started winter, like okay. my body was still recovering. You know, uh, all the bumps and bruises, you know, it's crazy. But part of it, I do it all over. I'm going to do it all over. So, uh, yeah, man, uh, I, I think everybody was, was still recovering. You know, everybody was flying around on the defense. Everybody was making plays. Rook, I think he had like over 100. KD had over 100. You know, it's – we had some guys balling, so CEO, the whole the whole defense was banged, banged and bruised over the long season. So, uh, but we all healthy, we all back, so it's dope. Now that you have a year of playing under your belt, is the off season different? Do you think about things a little differently? That hey, this will help me going into next season or, or yeah, things like I that. Yeah, I think I think now is like me focusing on how I can uh, become more of a student of the game because I always have been. But now it's like how can I figure out what the pieces around me doing so I can learn how to do my, my job better for each other, you know what I'm saying? So I think that's my main goal, focus on just like picking the coaches' brains, meet, meet with the coaches, so figuring out what they, how they see the game, you know what I'm saying, and, and going from there, so. Who were who some of the weight room freaks this winter? Shoot, uh, we got a freshman, uh, Armstrong. Okay. Crazy strong, like he, he like 17, 18, he's like 280, like I think he like power clean, like 365, so crazy. And, uh, and uh, CC, Colin Clay. Mm -hmm. Free under the squad right so yeah I ain't gonna lie we got some we got some talent we got some guys that really showed up in the weight room put up for crazy numbers so I'm looking forward to this season for sure 17 year old on this squad is like an infant you guys got like 24 <laughs> yeah. 5 year olds on this squad <laughs> <Not> for real <laughs> what's it like to have so many old teammates oh I mean it's, it's normal because you know like we all we, we, we all like been around together for like four three years so it's like we like grew together so I came here when I was like 18 because I came a semester early so now I'm 21 so it don't even seem like I've been here like three four years so it can fly as well so does the the vibe feel at all different when you have guys that are older I mean not just fourth year guys or whatever like you've got fifth sixth seventh year guys on, yeah. this, on this team I say uh I say the vibe is it's like we all trust each other you know because we all been we all been around each other for a while grinding uh, going through these uh tough workouts together you know that that trust is is built by default so and i think that's what this team has a lot of so. does anybody 